Who could forget that cocky mug? He used to come here. I remember. How's it going everybody and welcome back to the vlog. So I've been, uh, I've been kind of absentee for a couple of days. I've been out doing other things. I bought multiple helicopters. If you saw one of my uh, previous videos I posted, it was actually a, a late night build of a helicopter that I bought. And I haven't uh, gotten out and kind of filmed any more drone videos because the weather's been crap or I've been working or um, I've been caught up on other hobbies. But if you're wondering what I've been doing, if I've totally forgotten about my drones, I haven't. I have something that I've been working on or at least trying to gather details on or data on. And the only thing that's keeping me from actually testing this is the fact that I do not have a specific piece of equipment that I need to kind of fully test this out. So, um, I want to tell you about something. If you've ever seen my video for you guys who have iOS devices, I posted a video not too long ago, maybe a little bit back, about how I could do FPV with an application called Mavic FPV. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a card somewhere up here. And that was by a developer named Michael Vignetti. Um, he develops uh, iOS apps for the Bebop, for um, your drones, your DJI drones. And he came up with something pretty cool for you guys that just went out and bought your Spark and only bought the Spark with the cell phone. And what he developed was an app that works with the phone, a Wi-Fi repeater, and the Spark to get you past the limitations of flying the Spark without uh, the, um, the Fly More controller. Um, so, I kind of got the, the some of the stuff together. The only problem is I could not get my hand on get my hands on the uh, router that he uses, which is a a Yi or a Mi um, Youth Wi-Fi router repeater. Um, it's about seventeen dollars on Banggood. I'll leave a link to that in the description below for any of you guys that want to go out and try it. It was back ordered, so. Pretty much what I was trying to do is film a video that showed you how to get a thousand meters out of your spark with just your cell phone and about twenty dollars worth of equipment. Um, what I actually had and I couldn't get it to work in the beginning was this. This is a Mi uh, Wi-Fi Plus repeater stick. So this is meant for you know plugging into your laptop if you're at a Starbucks and you want to kind of go outside or sit outside of a hotel and you can't get the Wi-Fi signal. This will actually repeat or extend an existing Wi-Fi signal and give you um, a little bit of range out of it. This cost seven dollars and when I got this I was like hey I wonder if this could work because uh, Michael was using a Wi-Fi router but when I looked into it I found out that the router was actually a router repeater and the part of it that you were using was actually the repeater part. So I want to tell you how this kind of works using this one right here. Um, you go out, If you want to go out and buy one of these what you do is you go get this you turn on your DJI Spark and you hold down the button until the power's up. And once it powers up, you have to force it to go into 2.4 gigahertz transmission. The Spark is capable of 5.8 and 2.4 gigahertz. Now, what I haven't tested yet is some of these repeaters are actually dual band. So if you bought or if you can buy a dual band one like the Yi. I keep saying ye, the Mi Youth Wi-Fi router, you might not have to do this, but if you buy something like this, which only broadcasts or only uh, transmits on 2.4, what you have to do is force this into 2.4 gigahertz by taking this button here and holding it down for nine seconds so you hear three beeps like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you get those three beeps, what you're doing is forcing your Yi, I mean, dang, I'm messing this up. Once you get those three beeps, you have just forced your spark into 2.4 gigahertz transmission. So once you have that, what you would do with this is you would plug it into your USB power stick like so and power it up. And what you probably can see right there, is there a little flashing light there? It will start flashing and I've already bound this to the spark. So it's probably going to bind after a couple of seconds and boom, blue light. That means it's been bound. Come on, there you go. So if you don't have this particular repeater, you'll have to go through the steps to see how to bind that with a Wi-Fi system. Um, usually for your house system, all you have to do is go in, download the app if it's controlled by an app, and you will look for this device and connect to it. Then you will, it will copy or duplicate your Wi-Fi routers um, broadcast signals or whatever you want to call it, your SSID and in this situation what it is doing it is copying the Sparks Wi-Fi SSID and it will show up in your Wi-Fi settings as whatever your Wi-Fi 
uh, router's mm -hmm. name is. In this situation, it's going to show up in your Wi-Fi settings as Spark or Spark Plus. So I'll show you that. What you can see here is I have a Wi-Fi setting for the DJI Spark there. And then I have one here that says Spark Plus. The Spark Plus is the Wi-Fi repeater. Once you put in your Wi-Fi password, it will automatically connect to Spark Plus or whatever Wi-Fi repeater you're using with that same password. Now you are bound to your Spark with your Wi-Fi wi -Fi repeater. So what you need to do next is you need to connect your control device, which is in this case my iPhone, to the Wi-Fi repeater. If I get focus, Spark Plus is there. I'll tap on that. And if you look at the top, it is now connected to Spark Plus. Once you're connected to Spark Plus, what you want to do is, if you've already got this, and by the way, I do have codes for this. So if this reaches, if this gets enough attention, if I get enough likes on this, I'll post about 15 to 20 codes that Michael Vignetti has given me to test this out. I haven't fully tested this out, so I don't want to give you guys a, hey, this is a perfect app type of review. I need to get my hands on a more powerful Wi-Fi router to, to fully test it out. But um, I have tested it out, and I'll give you some of the results I've gotten so far. So the name of this app is called Spark Pro. I don't know. And you tap on that, I'm getting thing. good at this. And what you can see is I am already connected to the Spark. Oh, it's showing you that red is actually my couch. So, um, so now I am now connected to the Spark. And if, like I said, if you haven't seen this app, this is also capable of uh, Bluetooth, I mean, not Bluetooth communication. Well, it is capable of Bluetooth communication. So you can actually go out and buy a Bluetooth controller. They make one for the Bebop. They make ones for your video game controller for your phones by, um, I can't remember what they're called. But if you look on uh, Amazon for a Bluetooth controller, you'll find many of them. They look like joysticks that you can actually clip your phone into it. It looks like an Xbox controller similar to this one, which is Bluetooth, and you put your your phone in it and you can play video games with it. You could use that as a controller if you want that true tactile feel of a remote control. Those cost about 20 bucks depending on the quality or the brand that you wanna buy. So once you're connected to this application, you are ready to fly. So like I said, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi repeater. I'm connected to my Spark. Let's see if it actually flies. connected. But just so I don't have to yell over this thing, I'm going to land it. Okay, so got it landed. It's back on the ground and I'll, and like I said, if you haven't seen this, please go look at some of the, uh, my previous video for the Mavic and it has the option to control your spark with the, um, uh, controllers here and what you see this circle right here that is the augmented reality indicator that tells you that that's where you are when you're flying around out in the field all you got to do is turn that thing to yourself and you can see that little augmented reality bullseye right there that green thing and that will be you and then you also can put an augmented reality bullseye on your target and that's where you're going to fly so pretty cool works the same way as mavic fpv um go look at that app go and uh, check out the features of that app and if you wanted to like i said if you actually strap this into a set of v VR goggles and you hit that little button right there uh, it wants to access my camera if you hit that little VR button that I hit at the top now you have VR mode where you can put this into a well actually you couldn't you could still connect to this via Bluetooth Bluetooth but you can put this into a set of uh, VR headset goggles that you can get from Amazon for like 20 bucks and control your um, using use this for an FPV so as you can see if I tilt it down tilt it up it controls the gimbal and you have all your on-screen display stuff there too, just like you do in Mavic FPV. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Like I said, I really want to go out and test this out. Um, I was actually out testing it. Um, the distance that I, I didn't fly it away because it was uh, dark outside, and I just want to make sure I was connected. Um, I, it, it, it has a setting here where you can take away the limitations of distance from uh, your spark because you're not under the RC control. And I'll show you that in one second here. If I can find it. So if I go into settings and I go into 
return or limits here. In this page right here on the settings, it has a thing where you can actually set up the distance and I can get that to focus. You can set up the distance that this can fly. So right now it's in pro mode and as you can see across the top, it says distant, distance limit, no limit. Um, but that little slider there, if you had um, that turned on, you could actually slide that around and increase your altitude limit. So I tried it in pro mode and I took it straight up without flying it away and I got 160 feet up. I tried to fly it that way but I was very cautious about it because one, this isn't the strongest antenna. This is a tiny little antenna. It's probably not made for anything further than your indoor use or in your apartment or something like that. Um, but the Wi-Fi router repeater is a stronger device because it's meant to broadcast a signal across your whole house. I needed something like that and I knew it so I didn't want to fly far away but what happened was I did try to fly it across the street just to make sure I had some form of movement and at the bottom here if you can see on the bottom of this there is um, some indication here when this is actually turned on actually right there it tells you what your Wi-Fi strength is right there it says 100% when I was flying that across the street it started to drop very very fast so it went from 100 to 50 to 30 to 40 and by the time I got to like 40 it actually said lost connection but it lost the connection for about two seconds and then it came back to me once it got back over my head, it regained a connection and I landed it safely. So what I can tell you is it actually works. It works by connecting to your Wi-Fi repeater, acts by controlling your drone, it acts by, I think it actually took away the limit of altitude because I don't think you're able to fly 150 feet under um, the control of just your phone. I'm not sure about that. Um, but I didn't test the distance of it and I don't think it would have went that far anyway because like I said, I got it across the street and it said disconnected for about a second and then it came back to me. Um, so. Just want to give you some guys uh, the update on that. I wanted you guys, if, you want to, if you're interested in looking at it because you have an iOS device and you don't have a controller and you were thinking about going out and buying a controller but you're not sure, um, this application costs uh, $5.99, I think. He has it posted for on the um, I, I store, App Store, I think it's called, Apple Store. Um, and if you have one of those e Wi-Fi router uh, repeaters, they, they're, they're the youth version. It's a little tiny thing that fits in your backpack. I mean, it, it's really probably no bigger than this phone itself and you want to try this app, let me know so we can kind of collaborate on this. You can do some of the research of the R&D for me because I just, I'm just spending too much money testing all this stuff out. So again, I wanted to show you guys that. I wanted to let you know that I wasn't uh, forgetting about my drones or getting out and flying them. Um, like I said, work is getting darker faster, so by the time I get up work, I'm trying to get out and fly, and the sun is already setting around 7.30 these days. Um, but I wanted to let you know I'm still with you, and I appreciate everybody who's been watching me and following me. Um, again, I bought a couple of uh, helicopters, and I'm trying to get some practicing on them before this winter weather comes in because batteries don't like that cold weather, and I want to be able to get out there and fly it and uh, have some fun with it. So, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the vlog. Let me know what you think about this app. Um, I think it's really cool, pretty cool so far. I was blown away by Mavic FPV. Um, as I told you guys, I have the goggles, but Mavic FPV was very impressive about the things that it could do. Um, Mr. McVignetti has a couple of other apps that I'm hoping that I can test really soon. He has one called uh, FPV Pro, which is now um, the same as Mavic FPV and the same features that you just saw in this uh, drone, uh, in this application for all of your DJI drones, your Spark, your Mavic, and your Phantom drones. Um, you actually get to use it for um, FPV for $7.99, and it's a lot cheaper than a set of DJI goggles. So hopefully I'll be testing those for you and let you know how they work. Like I said, I'm really impressed by Mr. My, Mr. Vignetti stuff. He's not paying me to do this. I paid for my first app. He gives me the codes, and I give them to you guys to use. Um, so I'm not getting paid to tell you that his apps are great. I'm just thinking if you're out there and you want to try something different with your Spark with only the phone, this is a possible way to do it, but again, haven't fully tested it, so don't take my word for it. Get out and try it on your own, and let me know how it works. Um, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the vlog, guys. I'll get back to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.